even if the Supreme Court gives a verdict in the name of the drug lord called Ahmed Bola Tinubu, I will not stop this struggle. Hello, my people at Trawe Saluto. Now, well, every day now, now one story from one story to the other, one story to the other. Ashiwa Jubada Ahmed just came back on Monday. Since when he come back, that man, eh, now from one wahala to the other, one wahala to the other. Now, see what's in these ones that don't come talk. My people, eh, I go let you know, now just watch her. But if you just eh, watch my video, you never follow me, you never subscribe. Help me like and follow my Facebook page, NHTVNG. Go my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, NHTV Hangout, like my channel, turn the notification bell on so that when I drop video, you'll get the notification. And help me like and share this video so that Facebook and YouTube go, you know, recommend my video for a lot of people. My people are just left on now watch waiting this group of people come talk. They don't come vow, say that swearing in for May 29th. Anything we won't cause them, then go stop her. And then go make sure, say, Momo, the INEC chairman, say he rot for jail. Then go lock the door. Throw away. Man, just let you know what you Don't forget to share this video. Thank you. Test to the end. Even if, even if the Supreme Court gives a verdict in the name of the drug lord called Ahmed Bola Tinubu, I will not stop this struggle. I will fight for the next four years of this administration and I will tell the world continually that this election was rigged this election did not reflect the voice of the Nigerian people. And until this is heard, we will not get back. President Mohamed Buhari has nothing less than very few days, few weeks to go. He has nothing to tell us that he is not part and parcel of the disgrace that we have seen in our elections. How can you tell us that you want to arrest a wreck in Adamawa State that have done exactly what his boss in the national has done? Why don't you arrest the boss? in the national why don't you arrest the boss in the national you're arresting somebody who is just dealing with the state apparatus it means that you guys have a plan to destroy nigeria but we believe for this country for nigeria. but we believe for this country we must sleep they say any picking we say a mama no go sleep him to no go sleep we will fight this battle to the end and i'm begging all of you with whatever you have i know it's not easy to come out on the street every day but whatever you have to offer to make this protest continue, do it. You are not doing it because you want to be a minister or an appointed person in the next government. You are doing it because of the future of our children's children. Our own generation is already eaten by 80%. We only have 20% to enjoy even if Nigeria gets back on track. I am telling you with this opportunity, if you sit down in your houses, in your comfort zone, and you think everything is all right, you are a liar. Even if you are abroad, you think you are abroad, you have escaped, you are a liar. One day you will get money and you will want to buy a land and will come and see the house, the place you will build a house. Whether that house will be in peace or one day when you die, we'll see whether when they bring you back to your country, you'll be buried well. Look, this is the business of all Nigerians. Whether you are in PDP, APC, eh, eh, even a party that is not registered yet, you have to volunteer and come out. The reason why you saw that during the NSAS, they shot people at the toll gate, it was because the people there at the toll gates were mushroom people. There were not plenty. If we have 15, 25, 25,000, 30,000 people at the protest on the first day of that litigation, I tell you, the judges would do the needful. Even if you don't know, let me tell you, the judges need us to give the right judgment. They cannot give a judgment when they have not seen the people revolt against what the government want them to do. You really think the judges have their own special markets they attend? Do you think they have their own special church or mocks? Do you think they have their own special uh, uh, game center they go to play? They go to the same center with us, both in the religious issues. They suffer the same suffering. Is it not wicked, yes, and wicked that got some quarters for judges in the state? Show me how many governors did that. Do you think the judges across Nigeria, they're happy? They're not happy. They are not happy. They are not, you think this judge now, right now, this, all these judges is running these cases. You think they are happy? They are scared. We have to scare them. Not to give justice that is not correct, but to give justice that is sound. Sound justice is what we want. And the only way we can force them to give justice is when we come out to register our protest as total rejection of the units given as the result. How can you allow a drug lord be your president? You think about it. How can you allow people who violate the laws of this country become president of Nigeria? Do you know immediately Ahmed Bolatini, who is declared as president of Nigeria, Nigeria will be flagged as a narcotic country, a drug country? Because the person who is leading that country 
It's a drug afflicted person. It's a drug influenced person. Why do you think the Ukrainian, I mean, the Ukrainian person is inviting him to come and for a state visit? They are all one. They are all drug addicts and drug dealers. If you don't know, they are all working together. Did you not see that it's Colombia and uh, Cuba that sent congratulatory message so far? Go and check the history of those countries who have congratulated Ahmed Bolatin. They are all in narcotics list. They are all in narcotics list and Nigeria will join. I don't know why we want to just sit down and not do the right thing at the right time. For my own words, I feel that if you don't, if you refuse to do the right thing at the right time, the right thing will do away with you at the right time. And that is what has caught up with Ahmed Bolatin. Muhari and the INF chairman and every other person who is ready to say this election is the best election. You don't have any means, you don't have any right to come and apologize to Nigerians after disgracing Nigeria. How can you come and do a speech and say 2023 presidential election is the best election? It's your legacy. You are a demon. You are a political terrorist. We saw what you did in this country using our money to make us buy our money with our own money. We are seeing how you suffered Nigerians in this election. And you people come out and tell us that Ahmed Bolatini is the best person to rule this country. Get angry, my people. It's not about money. It's not about anything. It's not even, for me, it's not even about Peter will be as a person anymore. It's about the future of our country. Do you know the battle they are trying to do is in the forefront? It's not about Islam. What they're doing is Islamization using fulanization. I want us to wake up, step up, step up and fight for your country. It is a peaceful protest. We are ready to come out like bees and nothing will stop us by the grace of Almighty God. That our Shuadu's daughter, she won in on May, 20, on May 25th of, uh, of May this year. We must ensure that and then Mahmoud is sacked and being imprisoned. We must ensure that all of these issues, the killing is stopped in Benue State, killing is stopped in Southern Kaduna, and also activity of Boko Haram and also checkmate. Right now, there is some going on that uh, anchored by Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Development. Right now, as I speak, these uh, staff and have been hijacked by a few individuals. Such things must be stopped in this country. And that before they became military, that they were Nigerians. And after their career in the military, they will return to become Nigerians. So even though sometimes they don't say anything, they are not allowed to talk, they are allowed to act. This time around is not a time they will keep quiet. There, there, there have been other countries in the world where the military will give us strong warning. This is no longer a time where if a military is allowed to talk, they will term the victims as troublemakers. This is not a time they will term, they will term the victims of stolen mandate as troublemakers. They should speak out now. Otherwise, at the end of the day, both the military and the civilian will pay very dearly for whatever thing that is going on now. That is my protest. I'm Come out. Don't keep quiet. Keeping quiet is not an option. Professor Mahmoud, I'm calling upon you again. I mean, you've done all sorts of things in your life, but this is where this is this ends. You must be prosecuted and jailed because you have committed a sin. You've committed a crime against humanity, against the ordinary people. You have. So you've got to wait for this to happen. Our mandate must be restored. We are not going to sit down and, and watch our country, a country like Nigeria. Do you know how many millions of young, talented people we have in this country being thrown out there? We are going and we become laughing stock just because we don't want to you don't we don't want to come out and and say that this is wrong we need to all of us need to come out and, and actually start protesting we need to come out standing for we keep spending our lives on you know this is a time to be stronger than ever you know so i wanted to remind us again and reiterate what we're standing for again it is what the struggle this is what the struggle is about it is a struggle because it's going to challenge everything that you are and represent it's going to task you in every way and in every level. That's what it is, you know. And I remind us of some of the people that we often speak about and look at. You know, when we think about the founding fathers and we think about great icons like Nelson Mandela and all the people who have been in prison, who have been incarcerated, who have paid with their lives through the struggles to nationhood and have bet great things. Sometimes it looks very sexy talking about them, but the, what they have, what they go through is, 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 is life is a commitment that will cost you your time, your money, everything. You get to the point where even attending the meetings will not, you know, will not be exciting anymore. Once you get to that point, just know that that's where the struggle really begins. So I want to encourage us and inspire us tonight, you know, as we continue. 
to hold on to the things because for many people they've already resorted to you know what anything can go that spirit has to be crushed this is what we are about to destroy because our oppressors understands that very much one of the profound uh, truth that has ever been spoken in this season uh, and in this nation came from somebody who you know is one of the biggest opposition to what we're standing in today when he said that he expects that um, uh, young people must get themselves involved in politics and all of that this is true because if we don't and we don't go through the process we're actually going to lose out at the end of the day we must be strengthened so tonight i remind us of what we're standing for again it's about our stolen mandate it's about all the things that have gone wrong with nigeria it's about the people who have been killed it's about vote buying it's about corruption it's about everything that has gone wrong and we're saying that we're standing against it to ensure that it does not happen because we want to be quit to our children and the next generation in nigeria